Hey First Baptist Quincy kids. So last week we talked about Moses and how God rescued the Israelites with Moses against Pharaoh. And remember there were several plagues that God sent. And at the very end, the last night before they were rescued was called the Passover. And we learned a really important verse last week. This came from Genesis chapter 6 verse 7. And it said, God said, I will take you as my own people and I will be your God. And so today's story is called God Makes a Way, found in our Jesus Storybook Bible on page 92. If you have a Bible at home and you don't have this version, you can look for this story about Moses and the Red Sea found in Exodus chapter 14 and chapter 15. So check that out at home after our lesson today. So here we go. Moses and God's people escaped out of Egypt and into the wilderness. They didn't know the way, but God knew the way, and he would show them. I will bring you to a new home, a special land, God promised them. I will look after you. I am with you. God sent a big cloud for them to follow, a pillar of smoke stretching up to the sky. It moved in front of them as they walked and shaded them from the blazing heat of the day. And when it was time to rest, it stopped. All through the cold desert nights, it kept them warm, glowing like fire. God led his people through the desert to the edge of a great sea. They were just wondering how to cross it when suddenly they heard a terrible thundering and pounding. It sounded almost like horses hoofs. Who do you think it is? They shaded their eyes to look back and screamed. It was Pharaoh and his army were coming to get them. Pharaoh had changed his mind again. Get my slaves back, he screeched and charged out into the desert after them with 600 of his fastest horsemen and every single chariot in Egypt. What were God's people going to do? In front of them was a big sea. It was so big there was no way around it. But there was no way through it. It was too deep. They didn't have any boats, so they couldn't sail across. And they couldn't swim across because it was, it was way too far. And they would drown. And they couldn't turn back because Pharaoh was right behind them. They could see the flashing swords now, glinting in the baking sun. And the dust clouds and chariot after scary chariot surging towards them. So they did the only thing there was left to do. Panic! We're going to die, they shrieked. Don't be afraid, Moses said. But there's nothing we can do, they screamed. God knows you can't do anything, said Moses. God will do it for you. Trust him and watch. But there's no way out, they cried. God will make a way, Moses said. Another minute and it would have been over. But then the strangest thing happened. God made the pillar of smoke move. It moved behind his people and hid them from the Egyptians. Then God sent a strong east wind to blow all night long. It blew on the water of the big sea. It blew it to the left and it blew it to the right until it blew it into two towering walls of water. And there, right through the middle of the sea, a muddy pathway opened up and God's people walked across on dry land. When the Egyptians tried to follow, the walls of water crashed back down on them and swallowed them up. God's people were safe. They danced and laughed and sang and thanked God. When there had been no way out, God had made a way. Many years later, once again, God was going to make a way where there was no way. From the beginning, God's children had been running from him and hiding. God knew his children could never be happy without him, but they couldn't get back to him by themselves. They were lost. They didn't know the way back. But God knew the way. And one day, he would show them. So that is the end of our story today about how God made a way to help the Israelites escape from Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And so 
We are not learning a new verse this week. We're going back to last week's verse because it has something to do with our story today as well. Remember, this is Genesis chapter 6, verse 7. And it says, God said, I will take you as my own people and I will be your God. And we see how God made a way when the Israelites thought there was no way out. He made the way for them to cross the Red Sea and make it across on dry land. What an incredible story. So today, as you're thinking about God and how he rescued these people, you know, we can relate that to Jesus and how later on in the scriptures we learn that Jesus rescued us. That was the ultimate rescue plan that God had in mind even in the very beginning. And so as you're thinking about God, I want you to think about God is blank. Think about what God is to you. God is powerful. I think about powerful in that story when he was able to part the Red Sea and let the people cross on dry land. What an incredible story we had today. So there's two options of different things you can do at home this week. The first one is a word search that has to do with words found in today's lesson about Moses and the Red Sea. The second one is a special snack that you can make at home. All you need is graham crackers, icing, and Swedish fish. So what you could do is you could take your graham crackers and if you have white icing and you have some blue food coloring, you could just put a little bit of that blue food coloring in it. Or if you have blue icing, that would work as well. And you put the blue icing on either side, but not in the middle. Remember, that's where the dry land was. So you have the blue icing that will represent the waters on both sides and in the middle was dry. And then you can take those red Swedish fish and add them into your blue icing to represent where that ocean was. And then you can see how the dry land is right in the middle where that plain graham cracker is, that brown material right there. All right, well, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye friends.